you are also black like me, you should be learning about how AI works and what it means for you. Hi, I'm Jordan. I help you figure out AI so that you can decide whether or not it's worth your time. And one of the big reasons why I do this work is because literacy is really important when it comes to shifting power. If you're familiar with AI at all, you probably are aware of the fact that these tools can be very biased and that tends to have disproportionate effects on marginalized communities, particularly black communities and black people. Some recent papers have really highlighted how AI literacy can help you regain power over how AI impacts your life, as well as potentially shift the general use and future of these technologies. One paper is from Tiara Tanksley. She is a faculty fellow at UCLA, and she did a study with black high schoolers where they participated in a five-week program meant to foster AI literacy. By the end of the study, these students essentially went from saying, I'm terrified of AI becoming sentient and taking over the world, to I no longer think that AI is sentient, but I'm very concerned that these technologies are doing irreparable harm to people and to the environment. I do not think we should be using these tools as often as we do, and it really pisses me off that we're using AI nonstop without asking any of these questions. I think this is also particularly important considering that some recent work out of the marketing field has highlighted that people who are not AI literate can be much more receptive to using it without question. A study from USC looks at this and essentially what they found was that People with lower AI literacy were more likely to perceive AI as magical and experience feelings of awe in the face of AI doing things that seem like they would require a person to do it. The interesting thing about this paper is that they state that these findings suggest that companies may benefit from shifting their marketing efforts and product development towards consumers with lower AI literacy and that efforts to demystify AI might inadvertently reduce its appeal indicating that maintaining an aura of magic around AI could be beneficial for adoption. So it's not even just a problem with how the tools are built themselves, it's a problem with how companies might be incentivized to not educate you on how these things work in an effort to make more money off of your ignorance. If you're interested in learning more about this kind of stuff, I am doing a workshop called Choose Your AI Adventure. It's on February 17th, present day, uh, and the 18th, and we'll be going over how AI works, how you can be very intentional about your use of it, and how to develop frameworks and identify when tools might be overpromising or problematic for your use. I also have a directory of tools that I've tried and tested and my thoughts on them. You can get both of them at the link in my bio and leave a comment if you have any questions or if there are any other topics that you'd like to see me cover.